Right, so today we're going to look at solving quadratics using the quadratic formula. So this will be a two-day lesson. Day one is today. So given the quadratic in standard form, this is your standard form of a quadratic, ax squared plus bx plus c, we can solve to find the roots, zeros, and solutions of the quadratic using the quadratic formula. Notice your a is the number or the coefficient in front of x squared b is the coefficient in front of x, and c is your constant, and it'll also be equal to zero. This here is the quadratic formula. This is going to be given to you on your regents, on your regents reference sheet, so you will not have to memorize it, but it's x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b to the second power minus 4ac all over 2a. When you're doing these equations, the first thing you need to realize, like in example one, is to make sure they're in standard form. So standard form has to be equal to zero. This, however, is not. You have x squared minus 5x equals 14. So in order to get it into standard form, we're going to minus 14 from both sides. Okay, that's going to leave us with x to the second power minus 5x minus 14 equals zero. So now we're in standard form. So after we're in standard form, then we're simply going to identify our a, b, and c. So a is the number in front of x squared, so we got a is 1. b is the number in front of x, that's going to be 5. And c is going to be negative 14. So once you've identified your a, b, and c, you can then use your quadratic formula and substitute. So for my students, I make them write out the entire quadratic formula, but leaving an empty group, an empty grouping for any variable they're going to substitute for. So we have x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. Okay, So now we're going to substitute each value. So for first part, see how this is negative b? We're going to substitute b, which in this case is 5. This is also b, this would be 5. a, it goes 4 times a times c. a is 1, c is negative 14, and then on the bottom here it's 2 times a, which is 1. After you substitute all your values into the quadratic formula, you're going to put these, what's underneath the square root into your calculator. So in the calculator I'm going to do 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 14, and that's actually going to be 81. So then we simplify our next part here, and we'll do negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 81, because that is the simplified version of what's underneath there, all over 2. Now, in prior lesson, you guys learned about perfect squares. The square root of 81 is actually 9. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to substitute in 9 for 81, but also you need to realize that this plus or minus here is secretly hiding two different equations. So you have a positive equation, negative 5 plus the square root of 81 over 2, and negative 5 minus the square root of 81 over 2. So we're going to separate it off into two equations. The first one we'll do is the positive. So it's negative 5 plus, we said the square root of 81 is 9 over 2. And on the right side, we'll do the minus. So it equals negative 5 minus 9 over 2. Now at that point, you can use your calculator, or you can do it in your head. Okay, so over here, you get x equals negative 5 plus 9 would be 4. 4 over 2 would be uh, 4 over 2 would be 2. So the first one's equal to 2. Negative 5 minus 9 would be negative 14. Negative 14 over 2 would be negative 7. So our two answers here are x equals 2 and x equals negative 7 for solving your quadratic. Okay, so just to go over the steps again, first thing you're going to do is determine your a, b, and c, which we did here. Substitute your values into the quadratic formula. We did that there. Split the expression into two. Once it's simplified, we did that and solve. All right, let's do another example. Okay, let's look at this example here. So for the first part, is it in standard form? This one actually already is written in standard form. We have x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals 0. So in this case, a is 1. That's right there. b is 4. c is 3. So we're going to write out our quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. 
Notice I left a grouping for every piece that I'm going to substitute. So this is negative b, just getting these numbers from here. b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So once you have it substituted, you're going to then look what's under the square root. In this case, we have 4 to the second power minus 4 times 1 times 3. And you're going to put that right into your calculator. So I'm going to just bring down the negative 4 plus or minus the square root of, if you put that in the calculator, you're going to get 4, and that'll be over 2. Now, in the last lesson, you learned that the square root of 4 is a perfect square, which would be equal to 2. So we're really going to have two different equations, because this is where we deal with the plus or minus here. Okay, we have negative 4, oh, I just write x equals. We have negative 4 plus 2 over 2. That's because the square root of 4 is 2. And we have negative 4 minus 2 over 2. So if you go to your calculator at that point, negative 4 over 2 would be negative 2 over 2, which is negative 1. And over here, negative 4 minus 2 would be negative 6. Negative 6 over 2 is negative 3. So your two answers here are negative 3 and negative 1. Let's do one more example. Okay, over here. Our equation's already in standard form, so we're going to write down, write down our a is 2, b is 2, c is negative 12. We'll then substitute into the uh, quadratic formula. So we have x equals negative b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all over 2a. Again, you don't have to memorize that. It'll be on your reference sheet. And then I'm going to substitute. So we got b, b. A, C, A. Okay, then we're going to focus on what's under the square root. So we're going to have X equals negative 2. That's just that. We're also going to have 4 on the bottom here. But we have to figure out what goes when we simplify what's under the square root. If you put that in the calculator, you would get 100. But also I need you to remember that the square root of 100 is a perfect square. It would be positive 10. So we're going to have two cases. We're going to have x equals negative 2 plus 10 over 4. And we're going to have the subtraction over here. x equals negative 2 minus 10 over 4. And then you'll get your final answer. This would be negative 2 plus 10 is 8. 8 over 4 is 2. And over here you have negative 2 minus 10 is negative 12. Negative 12 over 4 is negative 3. So your answers here are negative 3 and 2. So just to review everything, you're going to make sure it's in standard form. List out your A, B, and C. Substitute into the formula that you don't have to memorize. It'll be given to you. Simplify what's under the square root, and then break your two equations up into the plus and the minus. That's why you get the plus or minus. And then you solve and get your answer. All right, try some of them on your own.